Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn about Field Density Test Using Core Cutter Method Before starting, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and press bell icon to receive my videos frequently. To evaluate the degree of compaction of a soil, it is important to know about the dry density of a soil. In this video, dry density will be determined by core cutter method. Use of core cutter method is suitable for testing the in situ compaction of cohesive and clay soils used as fill or backfill. Apparatus of core cutter method consists of cylindrical core made of seamless steel having one threaded end and one sharp end internal diameter of the cylindrical core is 100 millimeters and the external diameter is 105 millimeters height is 130 millimeters steel dolly or collar is screwed at the the threaded end of the core steel dolly internal diameter is 100 millimeters and height is 25 millimeters the whole assembly is penetrated by steel rammer of mass 9 kilograms overall length with the foot and staff is about 900 millimeters now come to the site where soil compaction is to be determined. Clean some portion on a ground. Level it and place a core cutter assembly perfectly vertical. Now penetrate it using rammer. When penetrate completely, excavate the soil from both side and remove the assembly. Remove the dolly and smoothen both the ends perfectly with knife now weight the assembly and note it as W1 now remove the soil from the core chamber and weight the core chamber note down the weight as W2 now by subtracting the weight of the core chamber from the weight of soil filled chamber we get the weight of the soil which can be noted as W soil from the dimensions of the core chamber we determine volume of the soil using this formula where R is the radius and H is the height of core chamber now we have weight of soil and the volume occupied by that soil from this we determine bulk density of a soil bulk density can be determined using this formula where WC is the weight of soil in the core and VS is the volume of soil this will be the wet bulk density because soil has some moisture content to determine moisture content take a small sample of soil from the center of core soil and using any of the moisture content determination method determine moisture content and not down as w m now dry density is then determined using this formula where russ oil is the bulk density soil and WM is moisture content. Finally, we can calculate compaction by dividing field dry density of soil over maximum dry density. Compaction can be expressed in percentage. Maximum dry density calculation will be explained in coming video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.